it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are getting the driveway ready right now because the new 7920 is on its way. So the semi might have some difficulty getting up into the driveway. So Dad is scraping it down. We had about six inches of snow the last few days, but the weather's finally straightened out to where they can deliver our new tractor. They should be here in a couple minutes now. Nice to meet you. Ryan. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you uh, too. Yeah, my grandpa started the company and yeah. so they've been hearing me talk about you guys for years. But <laughs> I've talked about driving down here just for fun, just to see you guys, but then I saw your post and heard you you bought something from us. So the day I saw the post I called my dad, I was like, what'd they get? What'd they get? I that's what I knew and cool. yeah, I said, Man, I gotta try to get down there with them, so I got a hold of Jordan and so did you guys specially wash down the truck just for coming I here? think he did. I didn't <laughs> ask him, I didn't want him to admit it, but I, I'm pretty sure he might have. Yeah, everybody was excited. It's good to hear. It seems like you go to a lot of these other dealerships, not to name any names, but they don't have any used tractors on the lot. Yeah. You know, it seems like a lot of the the family run businesses, yeah. you know, they trade tractors in, they don't immediately, well, I guess it's not true for this one, but they don't immediately just send them off somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, no, we've, I mean, we, I've been to auctions with my dad and other people where we go buy used tractors. To really? And stuff. Yeah, that's, Thank you. No, I'll get you when I get back. <laughs> I've heard that before. We had a Christmas party. You got all your gifts. <laughs> nice to meet you. Just some celebrities. Nice to cross paths again. Oh yeah. Time to play. Our new tractor is here. What do you say we hop in it and have a closer look? Take it for a little test drive around the, can't really take it much of anywhere, but we can drive it around the lot here. This 7920 is going to be our new planning tractor. When dad was looking for tractors, he was looking for a newer tractor that could handle the hydraulics needed to run the planter. I'm not totally sure if we're still gonna be using the PTO pump that we got for the 4640 to run it. What One of the things that dad was looking for was Power Beyond, which is a place to hook up one of the hydraulics for the planter, like your vacuum fan pump. So. 
on the electric drives that uses vacuum to pick up the seats in the meter. And uh, we wanted a place to hook that up to. Whether we'll still use the PTO pump or not, I'm not totally sure on. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. I think we may end up still using it. But this tractor does have one power beyond on it. And uh, it's got 6,560 hours on it, which is a little higher than what we would have liked, but comparing it to the 7830 that we had looked at with 5,000 hours on it, you can look at it and tell that it was taken better care of. Uh, this tractor has more options on it than that 7830 we would have had to do a lot to, a lot of things to fix, you know, a lot of things to put on it. So this tractor has an IBT transmission, which is uh, a different way to look at transmission. So this is your speed lever. It's got a speed knob on it that controls the top speed of each range. And there's two ranges here on the transmission. You got one and two. So you can put it all the way up and then speed it all the way up so that your highest speed in range two is road gear. Um, and then let's say when you get out to the field, you wanna go into range one and you can set that as your top speed to be you know, 10 miles an hour and you can just use that. So I'm excited to use IBT transmission. I'm pretty sure this tractor is gonna end up on the coon mower this summer. So we'll be seeing this tractor a lot going from here on out. This tractor has the command arm on it like the 8235R does and it has a left hand reverser which you can find here the 7920s came standard with ivt transmission and this tractor has an 8.1 liter motor whereas on the 30 series the 7930 has a 6.8 liter motor so they actually went with a smaller motor but the they have more horsepower whereas this tractor has a bigger motor which should technically have more torque what do you say we put it into gear and take her for a quick test drive? Now as we're driving along, we can move the speed lever to adjust our speed. Now you see F1 with the 3.0. If I rotate this dial up, it'll increase our top speed, which depending on where the lever is at in the range, it should make us go faster. tan square is our current gear and our top speed on top we've got our engine speed with our current speed and it looks like we may have a radar on this tractor it's riding very smooth I ordered the brackets for what they call the loader lights which mount right up here and there's two of them on the front it's got all the lights on the sides and the back on top I think yeah here they are um, I just wanted the extra loader lights on there, so we'll be mounting custom LEDs probably. But uh, it's just a bracket that goes right on there, and then there's a unused wire plug up in the upholstery on the corner posts here. I think it's on the right-hand side up here. We've got a sunshade there. Looks like we got a slight scratch in the windshield, but where it's at it's not going to bother too too bothersome if we want it we can just pull that down but it is a used tractor first order of business replacing the SMB sign
some were wondering why they had the tractor running when they left this morning with it. The reason being is because it was 15 degrees below zero this morning and it wouldn't have been good if they got here and weren't able to get the tractor off the truck. It was only about an hour and a half drive for them, so it wasn't real long for it to be running. It's nice. I think we're really going to like it. I just sprayed off a little bit of mush that got sprayed up onto the roof of the cab from the tires when they hauled it down. But uh, we're going to leave it run because I'm sure Travis and Dad are going to want to play around with it when they get back. Which they left to go pick up a bale feeder that Travis bought and they should be back any time now. Uh, I'm going to start hooking the 76 up to go mix feed with. I'm excited to see this tractor run in the field this spring and I know you guys are just as excited. It seems like it's been taken pretty well care of and uh, I'm sure that it should work pretty well for us. By this spring I see a new radio going in, possibly redoing the upholstery. I don't know, that isn't a huge deal. Might not need to get fixed right away. But uh, I'll know a little bit more about this tractor when we get it hooked up to the planter when we take it up to the shop. We have been talking about possibly tuning this tractor because we did have them dyno it and on the PTO, it tested at 180 horse, which they claim on the PTO, it's supposed to test at 170. And uh, we'd like to see it maybe with another 14 horsepower on it. Um, there is a tune that you can put on it to bump it up a little bit. So we'll be probably be looking into that. Um, this tractor is gonna be used for a combination of tasks between replacing some of the things that the 46 did and as well as the 7600. So I'm sure this tractor will be get seen on the uh, hay mowers, on the rake, uh, probably on a baler, and uh, who knows, we'll probably be seeing it run on the road since it's got the IVT when we're hauling grain up from Travis's on the grain wagon. So you guys will be seeing a lot of this tractor in the future. It's gonna be right in line there with the 7600 and uh, the 4640, which are our two most used tractors. Um, some people may have different opinions on which route we should have gone down as far as you know how big of a tractor we should have gone or how small. Um, in the end, Dad bought what he felt was right for our operation. And uh, to me, it was a good choice because it's a tractor that we can use all times of the year. If we had gone big and bought a huge horse, horsepower tractor, uh, high, huge high horsepower tractor, you know, we're really only limiting ourselves to being able to use it in the spring and fall. So by buying another tractor that's in the middle of the range, we can use it for a wider number of tasks. You know, the more of these tractors that we have that we can use for more of these tasks uh, throughout the year, the more attractive a bigger tractor becomes that we can, you know, increase our tillage uh, implement with. with. But uh, that's just kind of my thoughts on that. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to address them in our next video featuring this. But uh, we won't, probably won't be seeing it used until the spring. The planter is going to be the first task that it actually gets used on. Um, in the meantime, we're going to be continuing to use the 76 to mix grain and whatever else. We'd like to keep it out of the salt as much as we can um, and continue, you know, how, how nice it is. It, to me, it seems like a pretty good tractor, especially for 6,400 to 6,500 hours on it. But uh, with that, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.